what was actually happening during the year that I was doing CrossFit, not getting any better and getting mad about it. I thought I could just show up to class, do the bare minimum, and that would be enough to make me better. I thought that I should be good at CrossFit, and then I felt shame when I wasn't. The turning point came when I told my coach, okay, I will do whatever you tell me to do. Doing what my coach told me to do involved me admitting that I was wrong and someone else's way was better, and that I needed to ask for help and actually take action in getting help. This over and over and over and over. I failed a lot. I actually asked my coach for specific examples because I've blocked it out because in my mind, I was awesome forever all the time. He gave me two specific examples. The first was things in class like barbell drilling. I hated barbell drilling. It took months of my coach telling me that barbell drilling would make me better before I would actually take it seriously in class and not bullshit my way through it. The second was work outside of class. I was terrible at cardio and it took months and months of my coach telling me that I had to work on my conditioning before I would actually do it outside of class. And this is just one example. Here It matters to me and I want to share it because now I see athletes who come in in the same state that I was in. They think that they should be good at CrossFit and then feel shame when they aren't. When I see these folks, it's tempting to say, here's what's going on, you just need to fix it. I have to remember that I spent a year, a whole year in this place. I can't expect someone else to be on my timeline and I definitely can't expect someone else to go faster than my timeline. By the same token, if someone asks me for help, I can't say, yeah, doing the bare minimum in class is what will get you there because it won't. So to recap, for a whole year, I thought that I just should be good at CrossFit and then felt shame when I wasn't. The following year, I said, okay, I'll do whatever you tell me to do to my coach. And it was then a practice of just doing what he told me to do. And one more thing I have to add about doing what my coach told me to do is that it was not easy or simple. So my coach would tell me to do something and I would argue, I would disagree, I would fight him. He would sort of throw up his hands and go do whatever you want before I would come back and say, oh yeah, I said I would do everything you told me to do and just do what he said. And that's a practice that is still ongoing to this day.